Hey Stampers, my name is Brandi Cox and I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm so excited and that is because I just got my box from the UPS man and I always look forward to the UPS truck when it stops at my house um, and I got, I'm really excited, I just opened it up and I have gotten my pre-order from the Occasions and the, the Occasions 2010 catalog along with Celebration and if you haven't seen it yet that's because it doesn't start till January of 2010 However, I am going to show you a quick preview of what is to come and how excited you are going to be as well. We are launching the new clear mount stamps. I know demonstrators have talked about it for a really long time, how excited they are about Stampin' Up! possibly coming out with a clear mount stamp because it's repositionable. I mean, hello, when you have this, it's, you know, I mean... You know, if you mount it correct, then great, it'll stamp perfect, right, when you stick your sticker on the back. But if you're like most of us, that st sticker gets a little bit off, or like me, you know, happy birthday's going this way, and I put the sticker that way, and then people come to my stamp camp, and then they ruin their card, and well, anyway. So, anyway, it's repositionable on the clear mount blocks. And so it's very exciting for us, and this is a brand new product. So I'm going to show you just a few of the products that I got and kind of tell you a little bit about the features of it because um, I've had a chance to play with it now, and I am super excited. So I thought that I would share this with y'all. Okay, first off, you have an option of nine clear mount blocks. Yeah, these are that clear block. See through them? They're really, really pretty cool. Um, and they fit so nice in your hand. For you traditional stampers, you'll know that the wooden blocks are really nice because they have these um, ergonomic grooves on, on the sides. Well, the nice thing about the clear mount blocks is they have these grooves on all four sides, and they are just as deep as the wood. Um, so for you traditional stampers, you are going to get the same feel as you stamp with the clear mount block. So that is very, very cool, and it does feel like the same thing. Another nice feature is storage. How many of you get so excited to get your stamps in the mail and then you're like, okay, I love having these stamps, but where in the heck do I put them, right? I mean, because gosh, I mean, they're so big, they're so bulky. I mean, love them, but hello, I mean, you gotta buy a whole nother storage cabinet. And I'm just, you know, just talking my husband into this hobby, nonetheless, buying all this stuff. Anyway, so I'm really excited about this. This is the new clear mount stamp. This is how it comes, folks. Yeah, DVD size storage case, like super cool, right? Um, yeah, so you know you can fit a lot more of those on your shelf than you can the big blocks. Um, anyway, not to mention it's less expensive. I was going through the catalogs, and that is right, it is less expensive to buy the clear mount stamps. Heck, they're repositionable, and you can store them. Hide them if you, you know, if you have to. Um, anyway, so when you open it up, what you get is you get the tight die cutting, which is normal, like in your wood blocks. Um, and then you also have the option to add stickers. And now the stickers, the nice thing about adding those is um, you're going to be able to see it through your clear mount block. That's right. So, for example, if you place the sticker correctly on here, it'll stamp. If not, it'll be crooked when you stamp it. Here, with the sticker on, you're actually going to be able to see how you have it on the block, therefore you'll know exactly how to stamp it. Now, um, just to kind of give you an idea, one thing that I have found extremely helpful is you'll notice when you get your stamps, you want to bend the paper on the stickers. Now again, these stickers are actually optional. Um, I find it very helpful, but that's totally entirely up to you. So start here in the middle and open it like that. And what you're going to do is we do have tight die cutting, which is super cool, right? So you don't get those edges if you rock, if you're a rocker when you stamp. So all I did was just pull off the back of the rubber stamp, and it is the same type of rub rubber that we do use on the, um, the wood blocks. And basically all I'm going to do is I am going to push the rubber onto the sticker. And by doing that, I have successfully mounted my sticker and I have centered it. How cool is that, right? I mean, because before it's like, okay, now where is the stamp on the other side of the block? Because you can't see it. So anyway, I have a hard time with that. This is super cool. All right, so now how in the heck does this, this stick onto that, right? Well, I really don't know, to be quite honest with you. Some say it's magic. Um, 
I don't know, maybe it's static electricity. I really don't know, to be quite honest with you. I will be finding out, but I don't know at this point. Um, however, it's really cool. What I have found, though, is I am a glitter queen. Most people say, you know, oh my gosh, everything's got to have bling on it. Well, in this situation, you don't want bling on your block because it interferes with the magic that happens between the two, and they don't stick. So, I highly recommend no glitter. So I've rubbed all the glitter off and what you do is you take the sticker part and you're going to push it onto your clear mount block and you're going to just kind of give it a good push. And that is magic right there. The magic is happening, let me tell you. So now you have a stamp. See? Just like that. And then you're going to go ahead and grab your ink pad. I just have a basic black here. And you have got a good connection right there. And basically, you just ink it up real good. And I have me a white piece of paper here. I'm just gonna get that inked up really nice. And literally, it's just like stamping like you normally would. Look at that. Clear amount of stamps. How cool is that? Super cool. Anyway, when you want it to come off, that's it. It comes right off. Oh my gosh! I mean, like, hello! I mean, when were they going to, when were they going to pull, you know, play that trump card? I mean, come on. Hello? This is great. Anyway, so I am really excited. They have got nine blocks here, and so you have lots and lots of options of sizes that you want, and from my understanding, they are not going to be getting a red, uh, they're not going to be doing away with the wood mount blocks. They're going to give you the option. So the traditional stampers who like our wood mount blocks will still have that option. So anyway, I'm just really excited about this. I hope that you are too. You'll see it in the 2010 Occasion Mini Catalog and the Celebration Catalog, which is really cool this year. Um, and so I'd like to invite you to visit BrandysCards.com. And I have a really cool store now. It's called BrandysCards.com slash store. So please visit my store if you're interested in any retired products. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great day.